Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited to be back with a new video. It's been a hot minute, um, but bear with me while I try to get back into this and get used to talking to the camera, trying to set up my lighting. I have a new room I'm filming in, um, hopefully down the line once I have it fully decorated and ready to go, I can show you guys a little tour. It's not a big room, but it's my room, it's my space, and I love it. So yeah, today's look is this folly kind of smoky eye, dark lip look. Um, obviously, I thought it would be the perfect look because it's been gloomy out, it's been cold, it's been rainy. So I just kind of got inspired with all the colors from the tree and the leaves and all that so I hope that you guys enjoy this video I'm excited to be making more videos for you guys and hopefully share with you guys um, recipes and my gym stuff and not just makeup and if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel go ahead and do that that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video as well go ahead and hit that like button and yeah let's get right into the video Okay, so I put my little bow tie um, headband on. This really helps me put my makeup on. So to start this look off, I already prepped my face using the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1. Looks like this. So now that I have it primed, I'm going to go in with my foundation. And I will be using... Um, um, I don't have my right shade at the moment, but I'm using Double Duty Beauty by Tarte and the All Hours Foundation by um, Yves Saint Laurent. Is that, there we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that on the back of my hand and mix it. I'll just use my, one of my little brushes here. And I'm just gonna dot it on my face. And then I'm gonna use my, um, it's not a, well, it's a beauty blender, but it's not the beauty blender um, brand. This one is from Real Techniques, and this one's actually awesome, like it's so, it leaves your skin flawless and it's so soft um, and it's only like two bucks. I got this at Walgreens. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend this away and I'm going to be looking over here because this is where my mirror is, but we're just going to blend this baby in. It's been a hot minute since I've been on here. I know it took me forever to make another video, um, but that's life. Such is life. So I'm so happy and excited to be back. Do not forget to bring your foundation down to your neck because you do not want to look crazy. And like when your foundation dries and stuff, like if you do not drag it down, you're gonna have a line that shows like where your foundation ended and it just does not look cute. So the last time that I did, um, like how I used to do my videos, I used to make, um, I used to do my brows first and then put my foundation on, but I've actually found it way easier to put my foundation on and then do my brows. So that's what I do now. Now that we're done, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my, um, with my brows. I'm gonna go in with my True Untrusted Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in chocolate. And then my Anastasia pencil. I forget the name, the number of this one, but it's like the angled brow pencil. I think it's number 12. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brow. Come on, focus. There we go. Um. So yeah, and um, I just, I feel like I have so much to tell you guys. I feel like so much has happened um, since last time that I made a video. Um, uh, I don't even know where to start. Well, first off, I am engaged. I would show you guys my ring, but I'm not wearing it right now. I just have uh, my silico uh, silicone band that I normally wear. Um, I don't wear my wedding ring that often just because it's so delicate and so beautiful. I don't want to scratch it or anything, especially when like during the week, like I go work out all the time and I just don't want to scratch it or lose it or anything like that. So most of the time I'm wearing my silicone band, but um, on the weekends and when we go out and stuff, like of course I wear it, but... Um, 
Like I said, most of the time I'm wearing my silicone band. I feel like I can't multitask when I do brows because I'm just so into it. Um, but yeah, I'm engaged. I got engaged um, last November. So it's already been a year. Um, but of course, with COVID and stuff, we wanted to push the wedding out for a little bit. Um, so we um, are having it in April. And I'm super excited. We're planning it at the moment. There's just a lot that we need to get done. Because um, I feel like time goes by so quick. And before you know it, it's here. So just trying to get everything, all the details little details big details all of that taken care of um one thing i will share with you guys that i found helpful um i got um a little wedding planner notebook that's super cute and it's actually personalized to me um but i got it on etsy and it's super cute and it's just so helpful because they print out for you like all of the pages that you need um like in there it gives you a list of like all the things that you need to get done uh it gives you a calendar um to write down like anything you you're gonna do there's just a lot that it has in it and if you guys are interested in it i'll link the one i'll link um the one that i got down below um, if you guys are planning your wedding or if you guys are going to get engaged, um, it's very helpful and it's cute. So definitely worth it. So we need to clean these brows up in a little bit cause, and then I'm going to go in with my brow micro filling pen it has it's like it's supposed to be like a micro blading effect i don't hopefully it can i don't know if you can see come on focus i don't know if you can see that but it has like three little um lines so it's supposed to make it seem like your brows are micro bladed so i'm just gonna take that on the inner part of my brows and just kind of flicking it up. I love and hate it because I have to do it for a hot minute because otherwise I feel like it doesn't do a good job. And I would, like I honestly, when I bought it, I was super excited to try it out. But don't mind my scribbles. But as you can see, like this is the dark brown and it's not super dark and pigmented. I feel like it's really light. Okay, that one's a little bit darker. My camera is not cooperating with me. There we go. So yeah, like it's not super dark. So I literally have to go in with it a couple times to actually show up. Um, other than that, I mean, it does a good job, but I expected a lot better from it. So if you guys have been wanting to try it out, um, I would probably try something else because it was... Not exactly what I was envisioning when I first got it. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean these brows up real quick. Alright, so now we're just going to go ahead and conceal our under eyes. I'll put a little bit on my nose and on my forehead. And a little bit on top of my lip. I'm blam, baby. Um, besides wedding planning, I've been obviously working out because a girl loves to work out. And I've actually, um, this time around, I had a coach. I had a trainer. Her name is Yaslin. Um, go follow her. I will link her info down below. She's awesome. She's so sweet. Um, she's such a babe. And she has been super helpful during this whole phase um, of me trying to bulk up and get some more mass um, and muscle. But she basically um, personalizes your workout routine and your diet according to what you're wanting to achieve. Whatever it is, she can help you with. Um, and she only, I believe it's only 75 or 80 bucks um, for an eight week plan with her it's affordable compared to other um, plans out there that I know of that 
Um, but yeah, it's been awesome working with her. And I've actually just joined her bikini line. Um, so I have a discount code for that. And they're so freaking flattering no matter what your body type is. Like they are amazing. And the colors are so pretty. Um, so check them out. But yeah, um, so yeah, I've been working out and I've been seeing really good results and I've just been super happy with it. So definitely gonna keep training how I have these last couple weeks and see my progress in a couple weeks or months. Um, I think it's so satisfying seeing such a diff dramatic change from like months ago to now because it's like you, you know, there's, there's a time where you doubt yourself and you feel like maybe you can't do it or, you know, it's not achievable, but it is. You just have to put your mind to it and you have to um, stay motivated and consistent. I am just putting some um, cream contour on. I'm using my Trusted and True since the beginning, the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm gonna spray my, my, my sponge again and I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm just gonna set this whole face. So during this pandemic, um, I've picked up a lot of hobbies actually. Um, I just feel like during this time, I've just focused a lot on self-care. I'm one that like, if you're not taken care of, you can't take care of other people. So just keep that in mind. Um, put yourself first and take care of yourself mentally, physically, emotionally, everything. Oh shit. I thought it wasn't recording. I was like, great. I'm over here just talking to myself and it's not even recording, but it is. So once your face is full of flour, just kidding. Uh, so what I like to do for my eyes, since I have my lash extensions, I just take a little tiny fluffy brush and put some of that powder on and I'm just gonna press that in. By the end of this, this shirt's not gonna be black anymore. It's gonna be white. But Baby Yoda will still be there. Guys, I'm obsessed with Baby Yoda. When Mandalorian came out, I was obsessed. I have so many pops. I have like shirts. I have bottles. I have like so many figures. Just everything. And I, I just couldn't be more obsessed. Okay. Now we're going to go over my bronzer with some powder. So I'm using Anastasia Powder Bronzer in Saddle. And I'm just going to go to my temples a little bit. And then down the sides, dragging it up a little bit. My tip for blending bronzers to make it look um, airbrushed and um, flawless is when you're blending it in like this with like a powder, don't lift your brush, don't be like this. Make sure you're just leaving it down and pressing it in and it'll look flawless. And then I'm just gonna put down a little bit on my chin. And then I'm gonna grab a smaller brush and I'm gonna contour my nose a little bit. Bring some warmth back into this pale face. It's pale season for me. I used to tan all the time, but I stopped tanning because it's bad for your skin. And like, it got to a point where my skin was just super dry and I'm like, I can't live like this. Like, it just dries your skin up so much. And shout out to my friend Zulema. She, she always used to yell at me. She's like, really girl, like you're gonna tan. Like you're basically aging yourself quicker. And I'm like, don't tell me that. But she was right, so I stopped because a girl's trying to stay young for as long as she can. <laughs> Not that I'm super old, but you know what I mean. So now that I have my bronzer on, I'm gonna take a little bit of my honey, my Gilded Honey highlighter from Laura Geller. Where is my... Yes, Hunty Glow. Glow, 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 and then a little bit on my nose. But I usually like to grab my finger and do it. 
For our blush, we're gonna do the blush trio in Pop of Coral. And I usually just use this one and this one. I like to pack on my blush because if you didn't know, blush is the first thing on your face to go, like your makeup to fade. So I like to really pack it on. Perfect. I feel like I don't wear eyeshadow as much as I used to, but we're just gonna do a little bit of a smoky eye. So I'm gonna go in with Saturn from, and I'm sorry, but my palette's a little bit of a mess. This is Prism by Anastasia, and I'm gonna go in with this orangey, burnt orange color. And I'm just gonna put that on the outer corner of my eyes and just blend it in. And this brush is Morphe M441. It's such a fluffy brush and I love it because it's like the perfect crease brush. A little closer so you guys can see. Hopefully my camera quits being a little crazy here. So I'm gonna pack this color on real good. Once we have that color in, I'm gonna go in with Parallel, which is just like this brown, chocolate brown color. I'm just gonna try to keep this one just on the outside, on the outer corner. And just bringing it into the middle a little bit. When we have that done, we're gonna grab a flat brush. There we go. And I just sprayed it with my uh, hangover spray. And I'm gonna go in with this color here, Sphinx. It's like a brown, goldy um, glitter. And I'm gonna tap off the excess here. And then I'm just gonna go in to the inner corner. Not in here, but like the front of my lid. And I'm just gonna place that color right there. Just nice and slow. Dabbing it in, making sure that it's sticking onto my lid and if you want to you can use a primer um too like an eye primer or you can put down um some concealer and it'll stick a lot better but this works for me so and i'm gonna go in again with that same brush and i'm gonna use um a little bit of the highlighter i used on my cheeks and i'm just gonna put that in the inner corner here just to give my eyes a little pop and open up a little bit since I do have more dark colors on my eyes. Take a small brush and I'm gonna put a little bit of the orange and the brown that I put on the top on the bottom just to smoke it out a little bit. That's done. I'm gonna take my mascara, the uh, Roller Lash by Benefit, and I'm gonna coat my bottom lashes with it. Lipstick time. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of a dramatic and darker look just because it's fall and I feel very smoky, very folly. So you can of course go ahead and uh, do a nude lip if you want or a colorful nude or a colorful color if you want, but I'm gonna do a dark color. And this one is Top Shelf by Jeffree Star. It's just the mini one, looks like this. It's like a deep chocolate brown. And I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips first. This is just Zen Zero from Rimmel, Rimmel London. So I'm just gonna hop off real quick. I'm gonna do my hair, I'm gonna change, and I'll be right back with the finished look.